all right welcome back to my channel uh in the other video we talk about setting up our audio interface and microphone for recording in cubis so in this video i'm going to walk you through on how you are going to be able to set up your you know uh, recording tracks and again set up your send effect and group channel for you to be able to route your you know vocals and stuff and we are going to experiment uh it is very easy nothing complex so if you follow up the steps you are going to get it right and continue using this um, so let's go right into the video so the first thing to create an audio track for recording is simple you right click and then the first thing that pops up is add audio track click there and then there are options there what are advice on the configuration if your microphone is on input one keep it on input one mono it might be in mono they might write in mono in mono yeah the advice is that always keep the configuration mono mono because you want your vo vocals to come in the middle of your head your your head in the mix you don't want your vocal to be in your right ear and the left ear at the same time or you don't want your vocal to be inside like the left or the right you want them to be in the middle of the song and then the output here yeah, you will keep it stereo that's fine you will keep the output stereo so that it will merge it the two uh channel and make sure the vocal become mono in your head so these settings are the go to mono in the input mono in configuration stereo in the output and then you create it so now we are able to create a recording track so it's as simple as that if you want to create more you can create more but you can also duplicate it by right clicking and then duplicate now we have two of it so in case you record the lead vocal here and you record the backing vocal here you have two tracks so without wasting time this video is not supposed to take time we are going to record something and then from there we are going to start creating a group and i'm going to show you how you can be able to route your vocals into different groups maybe separate your backing vocals your lead vocals and effect them separately and then we are going to also go over adding send effect to your vocals which is very easy as well so stay tuned as we ride on so now we are going to record something so let's record one two three four five six seven eight well i don't know how to sing so what concerns me this is for a test <laughs> all right so all right this is it so we have recorded something one two three four five six seven eight well i don't know how to sing so all right so this for so we are going to record another thing on the second uh audio track we are going to mute this while we are recording all right this is like the background vocal so in case you are recording and you have recorded the lead we are recording the background vocal and blah 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 here we go so now we have two audio so let's listen by soloing this one this is like the background vocal so in case you are recording so we have two uh voice recording here now assuming these are vocals and you want to mix them and you want to add them to different groups so the effects that you want to apply on this uh second one is not the same effect you want to apply on the first one so now this is how you can create a group track for each of these vocal and send them into different groups so that you can affect them differently so the first thing you do is right click on the empty side here and then you see add group track so you click that and then when you click that there is a setting that you always have to take note this is very important make sure your configuration is in stereo because when you send a mono uh, vocal into this group you might have stereo effect on the group 
and then it will affect the way your vocal react so always keep this like in case you are using reverb delay on the group channel that will alter the way your vocal react if you put it on mono so always change this to stereo so it should be configuration stereo audio output stereo and then you say yes now we have group one so let's say group one is the lead vocal lead box so the same thing you will do for another one but instead of doing that let me just duplicate this one just as i did for the uh, audio track so i duplicate now let me put this one as bg box that's background box so now we have them but if we play now they are not going to still work so this is how we can link them again to those group so we come to the audio track and then we come to routing you can see here routing and under the routing you will see the input we have to change the input okay sorry we have to change the output the stereo output sorry so you see groups once you click on the output stereo output there are groups here so we will send the output to lead vocal one that means we are telling that this lead vocal one should be a sub uh, this uh, audio track one should be a subject to the lead vocal one so anything we do to the lead vocal one should affect the audio track one there yeah. and then the audio track duplicates third one we are going to send it to bg vox the same method on the routing outputs you can see it has changed to bg vox so now we have to now we have to uh uh groups the background vocals and the lead so now if i solo on the lead vocal you can see what app it has mute everything and then only this one is solo so i can play two three four five you six, can seven, see eight as it is playing you can see the lead box is also having a signal so let me just show you something now let me add a reverb on the insert here let me just add a reverb it's just for experimental purpose let me just have valhalla plates here yeah. so now if i play now you can see i did not add this reverb on this but i add it on the lead box group which i have sent this to i've wrapped this audio track one to so now the reverb is going to affect the vocal now Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. well i don't know how to sing so what concerns me this is for a test all right <laughs> two three four five six seven eight well i don't know how to sing so what concerns me so it is as simple as that so now you can add your eq your compressor your anything that you want to use to mix your song inside this uh lead box and it will affect anything that you add any vocal if you have like let's say 20 vocals here as long as you route them this same method come to routing output and you turn it so that group leads folks any vocal that is in the playlist that you have sent to there will have the same effect it's as simple as that the same goes to the background vocal now if i add another effect on the bg uh folks now you are going to see that it will affect the second audio that i recorded here and that is it so we have been able to achieve a group uh channel or a boss for those vocals so the second thing that we are going to cover yeah i mean the third thing sorry is going to be creating scent effect scent effect i don't know if it's going to be too long but let me quickly cover it but if you want an in-depth tutorial on creating those scent effects we can go over that but this video is to cover it as well because that's pretty much all together so how you could create the send effect is also simple the same way we create this group you have to click 
the empty side here and then you will see effects add effects track so we add effects track. so let's say i'm already using this valhalla so let me just add the valhalla and mind you every effects uh tracks you are adding must be on stereo if you're adding your reverb your delay i like to be it on mono and it's always been like that because you want them to affect the vocal in stereo but all these things are adding stereo imaging to the vocals you are mixing so everything here configuration stereo add post stereo and then you add it so now if you notice the reverb is loaded the reverb is loaded and now we can send this reverb to any of these vocals here without actually adding it onto them so the way we do it is now if i want to add the reverb to this second audio i will click on it then i'll come to send you can see send then i will click on one empty pause uh, um, track here and then you will see the reverb is already here so i'll just click on the reverb and now there is it is reading here and this is post fade and pre fader so most of the time i like to keep it on uh pre fader although they have some special uh uh differences but we are not going to go over there and now this is the amount of reverb that i will decide to add so you can adjust this to your taste but let's play so that you will hear the reverb this is like the background vocal so in case you are recording so you can see imagine this is a actual vocal in a mix the reverb is there but it's too much now so i have to adjust here now we are recording the background vocal and blah 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 here we go so this is like the background vocal so in case you are recording and you are recording the lead you are recording the background vocal and blah 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 so from this bar you adjust the level of reverb delay or any of the send effect you are adding to the vocal is a very easy as abc so that's pretty much everything for this video and we shall continue maybe in the next video we are going to be able to record something and know how we can be able to use these whole things that we have learned on this video to be able to effect put it to uh practice on how we can use it to make a voice sound good and from there we go so if you have grabbed one or two things watching this video please do like comment subscribe and share for more because when you do so it will help you know this channel to be more popular and attract more people to know what we are doing and will grow bigger and better so please do support the channel and peace out we'll see in the next video